Greetings. I'm Chief Richard Curry, duly elected leader of the indigenous Maroon people of the cockpit country. I'm a humble countryman, raised in rural Jamaica, among a unique set of tribal people residing in the hills of the cockpit country. My people bravely defended Jamaica against colonization and defended the right of Aboriginal people in Jamaica to govern ourselves and our own land in Jamaica land we love. I've never been a criminal or involved in any kind of violent activity nor organized crime. I'm not a gang member and there are no gangs in my territory. I'm a bloodline descendant of the island's first people. I'm proud to say that I hold their traditions of independence, freedom, and self-sufficiency. This land of my people is ours and ours alone. Our ancestors fought bitterly from the time of the Spanish up until 1738 to defend this land and we will never stop defending it and we will never stop honoring the ways of our ancestors and the sacrifices that they made to ensure that we had a place to call home. This was not land we begged for. And this was not land that King George II gave to us, but rather land that we have possessed since prehistoric times. Yes, many people did come from faraway lands to join our ranks. But the first people to be called Maroon are the people today known as Arawaks or Tainos, the first people of the Antilles. Our rights are. Greetings, people. <laughs> Greetings, people. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Now, for the Maroons, listen to what the chief is saying. The first set of people to be called Maroons were the Awawaks and then him said Taina. Now, for the record, yes, the Awawak, we who call ourselves Awawaks, are what is known as the Arawaks. And we are here from time immemorial. The Tainos are products of the message nation, the intercourse or the relations between our native people, our Aboriginal people, our original woman on this land, native we call them first. Original, we, are, we have always been here. We are no African slave. So when the Spaniard came here in 1492, and the Spaniard wasn't no white man, these were the so-called Moors of Spain. That's the same people, king and queen of Spain at the time, Isabella and Ferdinand. The man of pale-skinned people. And remember, the so-called Moors are not us. The so-called Moors ruled from 720 to the 1400 when they were housed, when they were removed from power. This was when them start come all over these areas and war with us. Before the so-called pale man invaded our hemisphere. So this is the information, my good brother, Chief Richard Curry, need for have. And as we move forward, we're going to hear the interview with Muta Baruka. And we'll break it down just the same, given permission. It's our creator given, not man made. Freedom is our culture. 
excellent. These rights of ours are secured, are protected, are guaranteed by the Constitution as amended 2011. It's called the Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedoms Constitutional Amendment Act 7 and 8, April 2011. This is the right he's talking about. It doesn't come from man. It doesn't come from parliament. It doesn't come from nobody politic. It's inherent within all man. It comes from the divine supreme creator of nature, of life. That's where these rights come from. And here on the island, specifically this island, this charter of fundamental rights and freedom is the supreme law of this land. It's called the Jamaica Bill of Rights. This specific document was endorsed by the Governor General, Sir Patrick Linton Allen, as the head of state. This has nothing to do with the Prime Minister or his office. So yes, this good brother is correct, but we like to be specific. Self-governance is our culture. Sovereignty is our culture. Not just singing, not just dancing. The Maroons are not clowns. We're not entertainment for tourists. We are a distinct people with a living history and we will do our utmost best to protect the inheritance of our ancestors that they left for us. As a duly elected representative of my people, I am also charged to be their protector and defender. To lead them fearlessly in the face of adversity and to be the first in line of defense of their rights. When the Maroons are in need, they do not seek first to call 911 or 119 or any string of numbers. They call their chief. The members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force and the members of the Firearm Licenses Authority are not elected by my people. I am. In the cockpit country, we believe in democracy and the political freedom of the people. Therefore, I must inform the entire Jamaican public that I do not seek permission to defend my people it is my duty to defend my people, and it should be the duty of any leader to do the same. We are no longer in a time of bows and arrows and spears and slingshots. We're in a time of modern warfare, guns, bombs, and all manner of weaponry. I unequivocally reserve my right to defend my people using modern means as this is my right. I do not seek permission to execute it. The protection of my people and their property is my fiduciary duty. And there is no power on earth temporal or spiritual that can separate me from my duty and my undying love for my people. I urge the government of Jamaica to keep the peace and to allow me to look after my people in peace and to allow my people to live comfortably in their ancestral homeland as we trouble no one and deprive no one of their rights by doing so.
Thank you very much. Colonel Richard Corey, good afternoon. Blessed love, good afternoon. Yes, sir. I see you. Your, your name is in the news a lot here as it relates to installing and other things that is developing in the area. Yes, sir. All right. So, you're just getting installed. People want to know what your difference as a younger, as a younger um, colonel, what is it that your plan is for a compound as it relates to, you know, development and evil, the legitimacy of what now people are saying, the things them, well, we're not talking about a long time thing, but a funeral land and this and that, you know, Queen Elizabeth, you know, like Queen Elizabeth, but the Queen, given her the land. And what is it that going to be different under your um, presidency, our, our chief chancellor? Leadership. Leadership, yeah. Right. Blessings, Muta. You know, give thanks for having me on your show this evening, right? Um, a couple of things, you know, really, I, you know, it's an honor to serve my people. And, you know, from ever since I thought about this um, whole position of, um, you know, chief or leader, um, it was about trying to make better of what we had as a people, that in my mind we were sitting idly and wasting time and watching um, others do, do, do even more with the little, with the less than they had compared to us as a, as a sovereign people. So, you know, I started doing some little investigation and reading up my history, reading up my law, and digging in more to, to people with the, 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 the mindset. Oh, oh, you're the man, sir. He probably come across some of my information. Cause I remember when he just got appointed a few months ago. I had a tape out there where I really put some fire on this new chief. So I kind of like the fact when I'm going to apply himself with some investigation and start looking to people of like mind. And I grasp the concept, but him still have a lot to learn. Him need to, me and him have to link. You see, that I go in the bush to sit down for even a week or two. And we can exchange information, you know. And step up this thing. And that would be a plus on all sides. I start realizing, eh? but hold on. Are we really a hold back yourself? You know, yeah. Are we really a hold back yourself? Are we really, a, um, we, you know, as leaders of the sovereign state, as leaders of the sovereign state, I don't think any of previous leaders have done much homework on treaties and understand how to use treaties and what treaties mean and being a part of a treaty and what you know what that what that translates into what well when you talk about treaties and treaties and treaties listen with my little bit of knowledge and information here i take a look at that treaty but i haven't really scrutinized it like how i want to only because of time but from what i'm gathering and this is a question i've asked before if I am in my land and a foreign country, foreign power come warring with me and then make a sign treaty, I should be the beneficial ent entity of that treaty. I should be the beneficiary. I should have a mountain of gold. I should have a place in a Britain where I say, boy, monument to the maroon star and them conquer away. Not the other way around. The British is the ones who in state, this government of Jamaica. It's called Commonwealth. It's called Commonwealth people. But from where does this British get the authority? I didn't consent. I'm a free man and I've always been a free man and I'm one of the only men right now in court for the right to be free, which is the right to travel. As our good brother, Chief, Richard Corey said, we are no criminals here. But the foreign power will take pleasure in criminalize us. This way they can discredit us in the eyes of the international community. And when them discredit us, then they use that as a guise 
to destroy a noble people. Let's continue. Happened since our, our 1738 treaty is a plethora of misrepresentation of who the Maroon people are, terminologies used to discredit and wipe away what our heritage, um, our heritage that um, was bestowed upon us, and to essentially um, ridicule and make a mockery of a tribe of people who stood up to fight what was the mightiest army in the Western Hemisphere at that point in blood and tears for their freedom. The Lord right. of Liberators is now the mockery of a society who has not paid enough attention to who they are and what they really are. Um, I'm going to ask you, I hear you say a group of people. Mm -hmm. The group of people that you talk about was, was not it Africans that was in slavery. Are you talking specifically to the people who them now call Maroon? Hey, yo, fat man. Hey, yo, fat dread. Yo, fat brethren. Muta, Baruka. Let me make this clear to you. With so called African runaway slave, fat man. What are you talking about, Pan African? Because you are a Pan African colonist, Muta Baruka. You think I'm afraid for calling you out, fat man? Where you ask the good brethren, sir? I told him not have the knowledge where we keep. Yeah, man. Fat man, Muta. There is no such thing as no runaway African slave. That is the Freemasonic Pan African narrative. Fat man, Muta. And you know that. Very well. I've never heard you come out here as a man with say a cultural and say, boy, I, as man of the right to be free, I, as man of the right to travel freely, I, as man of the right to do all of these things. You have never said that. You always come and tell me about if we go back to Africa. Brethren, if you left, boy, you ain't a fat man. If you leave, boy, you I'm talking about the Maroons, the, the, the natives, the, the indigenous people, the people of the land. So what happened to the people them who, as Africans who was fighting that run to the hills and become Maroon, you know, is that? Fat man, what kind of African you are talking about? Big fat motor Baruka under your dress. You can prove some that runaway slave was African. One African is, let me tell you this. I'm going to remove the Pan-American movement that was there and, and, and create this Pan-African movement through the Freemasonic system. Fat Man Motor, I'm going to explain this to you. The transatlantic slave trade that you are talking about, that you were well schooled in, was told in reverse. People where you are called African are the same Arawak and American Indian of different nations. They take people from the mainland and other islands and rearrange them and move them from right here. All of this happened within this hemisphere, with, on this side of the American continent. It happened right here. This is all America. America is an archipelago, a body of island, including... That landmass they call the United States of America. I've traversed that ancestral land of mine. And I've crossed over many bridges. A whole lot of bridges. And why would they have bridges? Because it has separate landmasses. So when they say America, it's an archipelago. When the foreign man came here, Charter of, of New England, 1620, You'll read within that document when them create their corporation called the United States of America. But before this was America, simple. So there is no such thing as no runaway slave. And let me explain this to you before we even go further. Because you're going to continue asking the good brother and true can't answer you. Those slaves, those very slaves are American Indians. These very slave are people that they, they remove from different islands. And when them come here as indentured servants, 
under any kind of restriction for whatever reason at all. Them decide not to stay within that confinement and they went to the hills where Awaks were there dwelling. Awaks, we as a people have always been here, Muta Baruka. We are no descendant from no Africa, no where, Muta Baruka. We have documents can prove that the colonization society, the American colonization society, remove people from this hemisphere, America, and take them to that hemisphere over there, where is the African continent. And all of these things are documented fact. Go to the research. The American Colonization Society. Muta. We don't know everything about Africa, but we don't know absolutely nothing about America. And why is that? You've always been here. The only time you go to Africa is on a visit. And I don't know why you don't stay over there. You and your family and other people like you, Muta, we acclaim Africa, need to pack up and leave. Go. So we, the true Awak Indians here who know who we are, can do what we need to do. We will fight and die for this land, but we won't fight and die. We won't fight and live. Muta, Pan-African colonists. That, that them was maroon when they come to, come to um, Jamaica. Sir, sir, sir. All Africans was marooned in Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, you have a combination of... Uh... There is no such thing, motor. You're talking rubbish, big fat motor. You get a big fat paycheck for coming at the chief like this, too. You know the chief not have this information. From 2019, I, I, I opened up a platform in 2020 and hit YouTube and talk a lot of things. And you never try interview me. Why is that? Oh, you never try to get a man like me on your platform so me can express to you what this really is and call you you out for what you really are. All the years you teach and I talk all of these things and look at the state and the condition of people. You as a man, as an individual walking barefoot, you probably weigh about 300 pounds right now. Yet, you probably not eat meat. You probably don't even eat nothing live. So you say, you get me? So me have, me have place a fire upon you because you never come here come tell I say I have a right to be free. You come here come tell I say I have to go back to Africa. And I is no African. When I do a genealogy, I don't see no such thing. Fat man, Muta. Um, of people, of natives on the island. Right? No. And of course... No, but you make it sound like say, the Maroons is a different group of people from the African them who come here. Hey, Mota, you keep on a talk about African who come here. You get me? You feel like if you repeat that a million times, a man like me ever miss it. This is how to plant them kind of garbage that in our young people them head. Having we young people totally lost, totally drifting, completely unaware of them true power and them true selves. Mota, you are system man. You are corporate man, Mota. Yeah, man. I'm not afraid to call you one of them corporate dread. You get me? And your platform is a corporate platform. Because I don't have to watch how to talk. And watch how to carry and conduct on yourself. And say just enough to keep the people listening. You get me? And just so much more to keep the people enslaved. Fat man, you don't know nothing we are talk about, Pan-African colonists. Absolutely nothing at all. So I will answer the question from a good brother, Chief Curry. We never get into that, Papa. What me I say is, the problem we me have is when them try make it look like, say, treaty signed with a runaway slave. And the treaty defined by owners of, by own, the owners of the treaty are runaway slaves. That is my contention. Me not getting at the nitty gritty African and who are what now. Uh, them was who? Who, who, were the, who were the people them who signed the treaty? What do you mean? The, the indigenous people? No, you said the treaty. Them, the, 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 listen, 
You see them say it make it so like the treaty was signed by runaway slaves. Yeah. You say because my brother I use indigenous and not Aboriginal. The clarity are gonna become a bit cloudy. But let's let's go on and see what we can chop up some more. Yeah, but you go you say it's not runaway slaves signed the treaty. You subscribe to that belief that the, the treaty was signed? No, may I ask you if, it's you say it, you know, may I ask you if you're saying that the treaty was not signed by runaway slaves? All right. So if, if, if you stand to correct me there, then more here we are. No, I'm right. not correcting you. I'm trying to iron okay. out if it's that you're saying that the okay. treaty okay. was okay. not you signed. That the treaty was not signed by no runaway slaves. Uh, who the signed the treaty? Signed by the Maroon. So where the maroon them come from? The maroon. The maroon. Hey, fat man. Muta Baruka. Cause you think say you are any kind of cultural leader around ya. You hear how me at a Muta. Let me tell you. Where the maroon they come from? Again. The maroons are American, same way. They are not African. Just like how right now, in our society, we have a work. Right now, a, 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 a reside, a domicile, a live, and a exist in a Britain. Them there on the mainland, them on, the, on other Caribbean islands, and they are all a what, my brother? They are not African. When you choose to claim African ancestry and descendant motor, it don't go benefit you and your kind. Because the rest of people who make that claim will have to suffer because that is an incorrect claim, motor. If you don't know who you are and choose to claim African motor, you go one side with that claim and keep whoever want to follow you that way. But a man like me is here to say something contrary to what you bring forward. I am here to say I disagree and I rebut your claim of all of us being African and there's African slave here. You nor your government cannot prove that, cannot verify that. It's all in your narrative. It's all in your Freemasonic, Pan-Africanist narrative, Muta Baruka. Where is the Pan-American movement? All you talk about is your Pan-African, my correction. Pan-African, Pan-African. We are no Africans around here. We are American, specifically Awa Indian. And when you call this place Jamaica, only two we are used the English. We as a people call it Zamaica. Other people pronounce it Zamaica. Other people pronounce it other you call Aboriginal name. Now, the distinction between indigenous and Aboriginal is that we as Aboriginal were here first. We are who you call it Awaks. The Taino that proceed from us, because the Taino are the product of the miscegenation from the foreign man, I keep saying that. And the children never come from that, whether them dark skin or, 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 or light skin, whether them have curly hair or straight hair or, or nine, nine heater hair. As long as them mother is American, is Awak Indian, then them can make a claim as Awak through the mitochondrial DNA. Not from the father. Not from the father's side. So this is where them create this thing called Taina so them can usurp our place. Because them know what I figure out we are not African. So them have to put other things in place. It's just like these people who are, who are Hindus from Hindustan. These coolies who are claiming to be Indians. It's a usurpation, and they use a the movie theater to influence your psychological, you know, say, view of things. Because you keep seeing these images, and just like how Muta, I keep repeating about runaway African slaves. 
and him absolutely a speak rubbish. He may know why he say. Muta no read and write on our level and we no go to school and Muta go. We no hang out with the people that Muta hang out with. So Muta, you no qualify to speak for all a man like me. You can't speak for a man like me. Because you can't represent I when you are claiming to be African, Muta. Because I am no African, Muta. Dallas Town in a St. Elizabeth, uh, our place, because Dallas is my name. So Dallas Town in a St. Elizabeth, uh, our place. Yeah, man, I'm a granny, I wear you that call maroon. Yeah, man. So we know the bloodline, but I can't just claim being a maroon. I forgot beyond that, because the people, them, um, that they call runaway slave. It wasn't runaway African slave. They say runaway slave. Motor, you keep adding your African in all of these things. Now, we are going to show you documents where it has said, but are the same people, them. Um, where said them runaway, go join up with some other people that was already there and then create them own society called the Maroons. This is why I say some people, Sell us out. Some people sell us out. Because when the Spanish came, they were powerful with, with, with all of these foreign machinery. But because they couldn't feed themselves, because they now plant the food and know how to grow the food and, and now, you know what I mean? They, they couldn't stay. They couldn't sustain this place. And the British come with trinkets. You know how our people is, just get something shiny, and them call you box, them call you God, them call you king. And when you are true king, and you have nothing shiny, they won't see you. When by your bloodline, it say, yes, you are king. When you do the research, it say, yeah, this is your line. Because if you have castle attached to your name, you have to come from the line of kings. These things are just basic logic. But when you have the trinkets, you get me? They won't recognize you. You have to use knowledge and law. So, Mota, again, we are no Africans here. And only because our good brother, Chief Richard Curry, still a study, him, him not able to answer your question clearly. So, I am here for bring some clarification to this thing. Muta. Were descendants of the natives of the land, right? Which land? Which, which land? land comes in when they talk about the slaves that ran away and joined with the Maroons. No, which land they were natives of? Sorry? Which land you said they were natives of? Mota, they are they are native to America. They are native to this continent. They are na li native to this landmass. All of this place is ours. It's not just Jamaica. This is why our good brother will have issue. This is why them treated it. We have problem now. Because they treated it incorrect in the first place. You get me? Because they treated it incorrect and give them no little location in a one specific area. You get me? And enslave the rest of the population. It may work that way. We are say fire to even them three today. And we are do our thing now. New. We are say we don't want no foreign governance. Motor. That's what we are say. We are say all who claim to be Africa and love Africa and, and, and want to be in Africa. We are say we leave out of this land. That's what we are say. We want to leave out of here. So we as Indian can deal with this, this thing and we're going to join with the Maroons because we are Maroons. But we are our more so than Maroons because our work is who we are before we create the Maroon society. So we are invoke with ancient dynasty. Muta, you don't know nothing about these things. What do you know about these things? You allow the CIA with them imagery from them TV and them movie theater and movie screen to show you some image. Of some stringy here people saying these are our walks and they all died off. You know, say, you know, say, 
And I know you're supposed to be smart than that. That's why I know man like you know, a gatekeeper. Sell out. Go back to Africa. We love African people, you know. But we don't like African imposters. Because anytime we get in Africa, those people go and get to at you know, and say, oh, you no. Know, it's not us. You guys are lost. Totally lost. Research Liberia and look at the creation of Liberia. And this is in the modern era. You get me? Know your history. Know your story. Man, know thyself. Mota, on a loss. On a spoil Rasta. On a make this thing turn commercial. This is why I see the Rasta them now exercise the power where them have as man. Not as Rasta. It's as man and have them power here. <laughs> and that's the trick. And that's the subtlety. Of the land. Which land? This land. This land. This land that we are on. This plot of land. They were. Yes, no, so we there was. The they didn't place. come from Africa then. Mm -hmm. They didn't come from. No, Mota. I keep on telling you, big fat Mota. Look like you can't even hold down your head and see your toe, you know, in under that big frat there. Uh, you. It's not a high priest, but you are wear a gown. Where you deal with Mota? How we are for? Lightning and thunder, Mota. You know where you do? You go up against the truth, Mota. You ask the man question to the know of the answer. You know we are no America. We are no African. You know that, Mota. I'm quite sure you're aware of that. But because I'm not building an empire on the false narrative of back to Africa, you can never talk the truth. You know, someone to sign all kind of blood oath, but you can't talk the truth. Because if you talk the truth, you come off of the air tomorrow. Any of you talk the truth, say we are no African, you not going to on the air tomorrow. And you can't afford that. This is the problem with our people. Lightning motor. From Africa. Okay. Huh? You're, you're telling me? No, I'm yeah. asking you. You said they were natives of this land. I'm asking of you. Of course, if... of course. Of course, they're from Africa. Where, where else would they come from? No, my brother. Do not buckle under the pressure. They can't sell out this or this so them get jurisdiction of you. At the moment, you are descend and originate from Africa. You can't make my sovereign claim round you. You get me? You have to be sovereign like some of them man they were. Just sovereign in a, to an extent. We now you can't make the claim where we are make as sovereign when you are consent and acquiesce to being African because big fat motor with a big fat platform. I said that. Mota, correct yourself, man. You're out of order. I guarantee if it was Andrew Holiness, the Prime Minister, sit down in front of you, you would uh, show a little bit more respect. You know what I mean? Only because him, uh, you're a Freemasonic member. Mota, you need man like me for company your talk show. So when you open your mouth and speak, I can correct you and teach you. Uh, you were a teach need to be taught. A lot of them out there were so not teachers and a teach. How can you are all be teaching when you yourselves need to be taught? We have enough for your Pan-African movement. It has never helped us. It has done nothing for us. Look at where we are now. And this is when we are make a change. A man like me travel out there. Write some information on cardboard and stick it on my car. I'm travel out there. Until your government motor, the government of Jamaica, stole my automobile. You get me and I carry me through them court system and still from 2019 till now, me in them court system for the right to be free motor. You not talk about them things. Them thing has a right to be free. We don't run in from them thing. I don't know some corporate sell out. 
and I can't talk about these things because when the thing was shut down and I can't afford that. We want to sacrifice for the people. We want to sell out the people. Leave the chief alone. You yeah, ask the chief the wrong questions. You yeah, try and gimmick and mimic the chief like it's a joking. Like a corporate government of Jamaica own anything at all around you. The government of Jamaica is foreign to us. Motor. You don't know that? Check out my platform. I choose just to put everything private because I say a joking. As we move, we grow and make a lot of correction. But I need to open up some of them whole conversation there. Where you yeah, talk all kind of things, motor. I don't know how to talk to a man like me. Nestorian king, I don't have to run from a man like me. Because I don't have no truth. Motor. No truth on the earth. You're a gimmick. You're an entertainer. Motor. And you don't can fool some people. And you never can fool them all the time. Motor. Yeah, but why you say why why are you saying that the world the there's native of the land? Of the, people, the classification eh? of the people they, they would want to assert seventeen thirty eight treaty to. We're not slave. No, we're not talking about, of course we're not slave. We're not talking about we slave, you know. Okay. You say but for for purpose of the reasoning, when we're talking about runaway slave, meaning mm -hmm. say People who were under slavery, under bondage by the white people, them who will occupy Jamaica, they right. run away. Hey, Mota, at what point the white people them occupy Jamaica? Mota Baruka. Mota, you don't know better than that. See, are people like me and you, they're in the place. And the people who them put in the place are the children of those message nation. Check Andrew Olness bloodline. Check them bloodline. Run them genealogy. Motor you have a whole heap of money. Go spend some money on the county recorder and run some of them people's genealogy and put it up on your big platform. You have talked for over 40 years or over 60 years from radio. And I walk barefoot and I go on with bare things, but you don't push it through. It's either you don't have it or you keep it to yourself. Motor, when you get up and step out there, everybody know you. So them say you're a celebrity. So you get a lot of privilege and preferential treatment. So why are you afraid to bring a, a man like I with them to the forefront? You're afraid. You just say you're a rebel. I don't know how the rebel without a cause. Because phone and cars not worthy. Phone and cars bring enslavement. Motor, Baruka. From that slavery, man, slavery. You, you, you don't, you don't give credence to that. No, I'm not saying I give credence to it. I give credence to the fact that they must say it's, the it's, it's runaway slave. Was signed by runaway slave. All right, so I agree with you. I agree with you. Say so it wasn't signed by runaway slaves. It was signed by the natives of Jamaica. The natives of what you know know as Jamaica. So I mean I know know what uh, when we are Aboriginal we call this a different name than what the English colonial oppressors call it Jamaica. Muta, this a history for you. Muta African Baruka. In fourteen ninety two the Spanish people them invade this place. The Spanish people come with a man named Columbus. Where everybody thinks that I just be a white man come here. Foolishness. If the Moors of Spain were brown, burnt skinned people, meaning Moors, saying it, I mean the religious, the burnt skinned people, they are still not us. We are not the Moors. And at them around Spain, you know, no, say a pair of them people that on Columbus boat will look like we. So when them come, where you think happen? Them just fit in. The first that a slave were was transported was when Columbus took some people from Haiti. When Columbus come to this region, he never set foot on the mainland where you call America now. He set foot right here in a way you call Caribbean, which is the Awa chief dominion. Awa chief domain. That's what this location was called before. Muta, African, Baruka. I bet you didn't have them history. I bet you're going to say I make me and make up them story. 
Because it's not in the Freemasonic agenda. Muta Baruka. When them came here in 1492, Muta Baruka, by 1509, them get a foothold and then them call this place Santiago. And when them call it Santiago, that's when they make them claim, because they must say them name the place, so they make them claim. However, them couldn't sustain themselves here because we the people is not a people where you can just rough us up. And while they were here, the next fraction are the same set of foreigners, the British, which is the same set of foreigners like the Spanish. They are the same bloodline people. It's just different houses who want to rule over us and say we are slaves. So when the British came, them just start Give trinkets to a set of our people. So our people switch it up and stop support the Spanish. So the Spanish left. And I said the British come fight. The Spanish left. And the British just said, what? All right, see we are. But you'd have some of we. We say we ain't nothing with no British neither. But the so-called ones, we get the stuff them. Them end up a work with the British. That's why I'm a boy, I'm in a trust none of these treaty. Because if the treaty was of any relevance, we wouldn't be living like this. We wouldn't have a governor general with head of state in a some foreign land. So I'm in a really trust no treaty. I say we're sovereign in this hemisphere. The whole of this hemisphere belongs to us. From here back to Canada, even over Mexico, is ours. We now accept now. Colonial divide and colonial boundaries in a federal district. We don't accept those things. We predate these things. And we don't consent to these things. This is who we are. So we are not just maroons. We are awak. This is who we are. And you have hid us from the world for a very long time. Not anymore. We are no Africans. You, Muta, can't tell me we are African. Because you cannot prove that. You can't even prove so you are African outside of the corporate checks where you get in your meal. What it is to you? Hi, <laughs> Muta. I think I had a historian. No, no. We don't know. But you might have talked to me some Muta is no historian. You are a propagandist. That's all it is. A propagandist. When we reach at this level and we can at least think for ourselves and ask questions and go try to ascertain those questions for ourselves without being dictated and guided on how we should think and how we should express ourselves, then we have a question even you, Muta. I got a question, you motor. You get me? Yeah, man. What are your agenda? Oh, you yeah, preach like now for 60 years and what you yeah, said no make no sense. Because you never tell we say we have the right to be free. You get me? We have the right to travel without a license and insure and a register with vehicle. What is a license, motor Baruka? License is a permission for slaves. That's why you need license. When you're a slave, you need licenses. But when you're a free man, it doesn't apply to you, Mota. This is law. Check your constitution. I'm mean, say no way. You know, the amended constitution 2011 where it said nothing about licenses. Mota Baruka. Oh, oh no. Oh, not talk the truth. Every day, you come and tell us to go back to Africa. You don't know go. You don't go over there and stay over there. And carry your whole bloodline over there. And leave room for people yes, to do what they're supposed to do. And talk the truth around here so we can liberate ourselves and the people them, of us. When you have a man like Dr. Chang, about him a national minister. Listen, Dr. Chang is not a walk. You know your name? That sounds like a walk name. That is not even an English name. I be a foreigners we have a governor over with. I be a foreigners we don't no care about with. And the few good people we in a governance, them, 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 them weak, 
So we have to stand up for the right to make them people that get strength and stand up strong. And run away these officials we are operate with unclean hands. And them people are lying in your pocket, Muta, Aruka. You know, so you're big and fat, are you? I bet you never skip on me. When the last time you will have fast, Muta. When the last time you will have fast, Muta Baruka. No man na call you out. I'm a put you up like you know, diva. You get me? Walk around in your big dress and your high priest. So we are full, Muta. We really are deal with. I know you want me to want to talk, you know. <laughs> May I ask you if the people them who you call the natives of of, of Jamaica, we are asked about, about, about is them we are talking about you know? The people who are native of Jamaica are the true American of this landmass. Jamaica, Zamayaka is a state within America. Muta Baroka, what you know? Go in on your big pretty phone where you have or your big expensive computer and type in countries in North America and say what your corporate people are going to tell you. You're going to see Jamaica, Muta Baruka, what you know? OAS, Organization of American State. Oh, you not talk about these things. Oh, you not express these things to the public to make them know about these things. Cause you don't know about it. Or you don't have no interest in it. Everything for you are Africa, Muta, left boy. Left boy, Muta. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So I am so asking you, tribe, really. Otherwise the tribes are otherwise, otherwise known as Tainos. Under the epitome of words, they lose us under. So you're talking about where the Moorish origins came from and who we no, are. So they... Watch me now. I can't tell you where the Moorish origin came from. Or the Berber tribe up in the North Africa. The Moors, all Moors, pledge allegiance to the Sultan of North Africa. North Africa, Moors, what them call Morocco, make a deal with the United States. Not the United States of America, not America, but the United States. So then they have to go and say them recognize the United States, and then the United States go and say, yeah, man, we recognize you. It's like a trust within a trust. This is what is going on. So, yes, I, step by step, you know, people. The natives, the natives of the natives of the maroon is connected to the Tainos. So, so I'm asking you, I'm asking you, what are you? No, you can't ask me. I ask you, you me I interview you. I know you are interview me. I'm not saying nothing. I'm trying to figure out okay. what you saying. Okay. So I'm so, saying to you because we talk about the natives of Jamaica now. That is where them call the place now. So what you call this land? What you call this land? Muta. Yes. You're talking this land that we live on. You're calling Jamaica, Jamaica. All right, what you call it? Tell me what you call it. No matter about what you call it, me wrong. What you call it? No, well, Jamaica, you call it. No, when you call Yo, Maroon Chief. Richard Curry. Yeah, you hear me? I and I know famous like the most of them and all of these so-called divas. You know what I mean? What you need for come, we need for talk. Got one week with I. When any man asks you who you are anymore, you not go have a problem and tell them you are the living soul manifestors, man. And you make the claim what you choose to make, you not allow no one to label you. Just like when I said Nestorian King, that is one of my claims. You get me? Chief Counsel for the Awak Indian Nation in America. That is one of my claims. So watch me now, Chief Curry. We have to have a sit down. We have to have a power. We have to bond the, the, the peace pipe. You get me? And reunite our ancestral 
get us say uh, spirit and then we can move forward so we can make the african them go back to africa and we can show you say boy your sovereignty you not know, just apply to the little landmass area where you're there it apply to the wall around you so it apply when you go up on the mainland it apply when you go in england it apply when you go anywhere this is what sovereignty is you have a 12 mile radius which is your jurisdiction because you invoke your court of martial city this is who you are as sovereign my good brother chief richard curry do not make Overweight, Muta, Baruka of Africa. Don't oh, make Muta intimidate you. You understand? Show him up a big platform and him say him attack this thing long. Watch me now. If when did I said it makes sense and correct, would me in this state, at least you would have do some things on a different level. So when Muta deal with, I feel just go back to Africa with that. We round yourself to deal with what we are dealing with. So when you hear you say Jamaica, that's just the English corporate term. Our term as Aboriginal who says Zamayaka. Zamayaka. As my good sister should have said, Shamayaka, because she said the SH sound of Spanish. But so we are taking on the ancient period American language. It not say Sha, it said Za, because we now have Z in a way so called alphabetical lineup. So the XA. Would have pronounced just like how them pronounce the xylophone. You get me? So that's our thing that. But we not say za. We say sha. So it's a shamayaka. But I like it says za mayaka. Za mayaka. Babylon not like certain frequency when we use it. Like when we say awak. Not arawak. So we are correct things and we are choose to do that. We alone can decide our own destiny. Not you, Muta, no, no, Freemason. You get me? I guarantee Muta you never go in a court yet. Cause no Freemason not go court. Especially traffic court. I guarantee you, Muta Baruka, you never get a traffic ticket yet. Cause no Freemason not get traffic ticket. You get me? I guarantee your motor, you never go in on a prison house yet. You get me? All of the talk where you make. In your earlier steps, probably it's more radical than now, but me still not get no credence. Down it's still a cry for Africa. Call it. When you can you correct me. me you correct me, me now. So what you call it? So if we if we me call it, me call it the origin. We call it the land of the indigenous people, right? We call it the cockpits. We call it the maroon lands. So the whole of Jamaica is maroon land. Then if it first set of people in where they are only land. For so the first set of people them was a Taino. No, Mota. So you still a try pushing your kind of agenda. What kind of Taino? You know, you're the man to let say our work there first. And I hear me tell you that Taino come from Awa. Taino are a product of the message nation with the foreign Spanish black man them who come here as more. And that create the Taino group. Motor. So you go do your own research and love the man motor. Brethren, Curry, you better come link up. No. Taino is the reference given to them, yes? And the, and, the, and the people them now who they call Maroons are Tainos. White people is enough. I don't know how long this tape is, and I don't know if YouTube are got allowed to go online. Because I notice when I talk, 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 YouTube kind of go on, go on it. So I know I'm not really go on no kind of way for them to say, boy, no blockage. So I have to go make sure I put up fair use, fair use, and push it out there. But this. I forgot in the public, man, because I'm out of a gimmick this thing out. I mean, no, say, that is what it is all about. You know what I mean? That's why we are say, no, for them are sell out. See? <laughs> anyway, I can't take it no more. I can't go no more. I'm a